Some folks have nothing to write home about. With others, there's too much. And focusing becomes the great challenge for overcoming. <laughs> Thomas Paine had too much to discuss and too many interests to narrow down for consumption. And it would seem Mr. Sorg had this latter problem to tackle, too. At least there was content for him to keep busy with. It was usually towers of books around him for consumption's sake. From Thomas Paine and Ralph Waldo Emerson to poetry, various from domesticated Billy Collins to ruffian Charles Bukowski or loose cannon Hunter S. Thompson or rich velvety pared down macho man Ernest Hemingway. Philip K. Dick caught his sci-fi fancy, but 48 Laws of Power is the book he proclaims to be his Bible. There is a great interest in the workings of man with Sorg. Osho is his favorite author of spiritual subjects, and it's not surprising given the controversial reputation therein. Buddhism and quantum mechanics compel him to think on a deeper level, and he's proud to have such expansive tastes intellectually. Nietzsche is his favorite philosopher to read, and often it shows. So he's got many friends living in his head and challenging him at every turn. Can they keep him on the path? The eastern end of his road trip got him in touch with history at Gettysburg, where his most famous ancestor, Robert E. Lee, took his famous stand against the Northern Army, fighting for Americans' Southern Confederacy. There was a great amount of emotion for him seeing history so up close and personal. It's easy to touch such things in books, but getting there in person puts it under your feet. York, Pennsylvania, earlier on the path, held some familial fascination because two Lees were involved there drafting America's Articles of Confederation after Lee's resolution, which announced the colony's sovereignty from England, establishing America as an independent entity in 1776. Richard Henry Lee declared, resolved that these united colonies are and of right ought to be free and independent states, that they are absolved from all allegiance to the British crown and that all political connection between them and the state of Great Britain is and ought to be totally dissolved. The Articles of Confederation were ratified in York. It's often referred to as the nation's first capital. You don't know all this while in the location. The history might be hidden or obscured, but with an eye on the books, it comes out. Fascinating history that touches his own lineage was found in this place, and Sorg was ecstatic. The adventure of stumbling into spots of such grand significance wasn't something he'd imagined. Thomas Paine was a pamphleteer. He changed the course of the world with his words. My adventure involved his inspiration, but it didn't come to me until late in the game. I was at Lancaster before I realized I needed paper flyers to pass out. It's not the first impulse paper in these days of the digital. It feels like going back in time. I handed flyers out and left stacks of them. I drove into the night from Gettysburg to arrive in York. Wasn't early, nothing was open, but I wandered around downtown. The shops and restaurants looked like fun and enjoyable places, and the best discovery was a bookstore with big windows ready for a fishbowler's residency. Just imagining the potential of such a thing makes it all worth it. Staying in that window, the content of information I'd be looking at would certainly be about the revolutionary days and the importance of these eastern Pennsylvania locations. Thomas Paine wasn't here, but my ancestors of the Lee family were, and they had a country to start. 
I was part of something. I was touching the greatness, reaching out from history, but I was just a guy on the road sleeping in his SUV, just anonymous. It was no revolution what I was doing, more exploration than anything, but this was unknown territory. I wasn't in the woods surviving like Rambo, but I was on my own. I just didn't feel like I was talking to the world. I just didn't feel like I was taking on the world. I'd be coming out of this with lots of friends. I was writing my own articles of confederation.